Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. What exactly is emotional pain? Well, it's a broad term that could apply to a wide array of painful emotional experiences. Emotional pain is just as serious as physical pain and it should be taken seriously. It molds the way we respond and interact with the world in good and bad ways. Becoming aware of your emotions and reactions to stress and pain can be beneficial in maintaining and improving your mental health. So here are 10 signs you're dealing with emotional pain. One, you have excessive altruism. Are you used to having your personal needs ignored and so you only know how to put others first? While altruism is an admirable trait that can improve the quality of life for others, it can also lead to self-neglect. Excessive altruism can be motivated by psychological scars and be indicative of the desire to also receive help and affection. Two, you micromanage. Do you have a tendency to control every part of a situation, every small detail? While micromanaging is often seen as a personality trait, it can also mean that you have a need for control and have difficulty trusting others. There was likely a time where you felt out of control of your environment and you micromanaged to compensate for that. So it's important to address the root of your trust issues. Three, you isolate yourself. Humans are social creatures who need interpersonal contact to learn and grow. However, emotional pain often springs from relational conflict or trauma. As a result, isolation can become a coping strategy that creates a perceived sense of safety. Without social contact or support, you can become your own worst enemy. Isolating yourself can intensify unhealthy thinking patterns, which are challenging to break free from. Four, you're a perfectionist. Perfectionism is a common cognitive distortion that can lead to having unrealistic standards. Those with emotional pain may receive their self-worth from trying to be perfect, which is a heavy burden to carry as it can lead to excessive people-pleasing and overachievement. Five, you ruminate about your problems. Rumination happens when you replay a situation in your mind over and over again. While it can be helpful for problem solving, Analyzing a situation or emotion beyond what you can control can be damaging. Those who fall into thought patterns of rumination are also more likely to face issues with depression and anxiety. Six, you form toxic relationships. Are you in a toxic relationship right now? If you constantly form toxic relationships with others, it could be a sign of emotional pain. Being a victim of abuse can lead to a vicious cycle of toxic patterns and behaviors in relationships. Whether you're an abuser or a victim of abuse in a relationship, emotional wounds often drive the cycle of toxic and abusive relationships. Seven, you constantly rush or worry. Do you feel like you need to prove yourself to ensure you won't fail? Being in a constant state of busyness or panic is often a sign of internal pain. Unhealthy work-life balance or even workaholism can be accompanied by low self-esteem and fears of failure. Eight, you experience physical pain. Do you experience stress or pain in the body that you can't explain? Somatization is when emotional distress manifests in physical symptoms. While feeling your muscles tense up when you're stressed is a light example of somatization, some trauma and pain can be suppressed in the body to the extent that you suffer from chronic health concerns, such as headaches or nausea. Number nine, you're only attracted to depressing music. While listening to music can be a powerful way to alleviate stress, being attracted to only sad and depressing music can actually reflect your internal state. Sad music can be an addictive coping strategy that may fuel feelings of despair rather than distract you from it. And number 10, you have angry outbursts or frequent mood swings. Anger is a normal reaction to being hurt or betrayed. However, when you accumulate emotional pain throughout your life, any situation that goes differently from what you expect can trigger emotional flashbacks. Along with anger, you may also experience shame, doubt, fear, and guilt in response to emotional distress. These crippling emotions can feel angry outbursts or mood swings. Do you relate to any of these signs? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos and the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.